With this WMER 2 News update, I'm Kelly Swoop. Baltimore leaders put the city's plastic bag ban on hold because of the pandemic, but that's going to end soon. Storefronts in the city will have until October 1st of the year to comply with the ban. Mayor Brandon Scott signed an executive order back in January postponing the ban. Now with plans to lift the city's state of emergency next month, city leaders want to make sure the people know about the upcoming change. They also want to distribute reusable bags. Well, Friday, people living and working in Fells Point addressed the latest efforts to address crime and violence in the area. There was gunfire in the neighborhood over the past two weekends, and business owners want the city to do more to prevent that from happening. They've already threatened to withhold their city taxes. Now they're hoping other issues like trash pickup can also be resolved. That the issues that are affecting Fells Point right now are citywide issues, and one of the focuses of this meeting that we just wrapped up is that this needs to be a process and a framework put in place so that other communities don't have to go to the lengths that we did to get the attention of the city and really work toward finding solutions that are affecting every part of the city. Not everyone was happy with the meeting, some of which were private. The owner of Amuse Toys says for the sake of transparency, the meeting should be open to everyone. Well, some daycare kids in Maryland wanted to make sure no cicada is left behind. So they made a cicada hospital to care for the injured bugs. The kids at Celebri School in Germantown went around collecting all the cicadas they thought needed help. And they created a little cicada daycare complete with an observation area. They even added an educational aspect to the project by starting up a conversation about the bugs habitat. What a cute idea and I think Winston has the right idea as well by staying inside today because it is going to be feeling very hot, very humid. Temperatures are going to soar into the mid 80s by lunchtime, upper 80s and the lower 90s by 2 to 3 o'clock. And yes, we do have the potential for some stronger storms that will let most likely develop during the afternoon. And we have the same case on tap for your Father's Day. Topping out into the lower 90s, around 93 degrees. That's going to be our high temperature for Father's Day. Keep in mind, just keep an eye to the sky. That chance for showers and storms lingers throughout the afternoon. And then looking very unsettled as we head into your Tuesday, thanks to a cold front moving through. But that's going to knock our temperatures down. And we're going to be feeling more comfortable as we head into the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll give you updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, don't forget to download the WMER2 News app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.